The previous lecture we concluded with this summary of the sampling distribution of the mean. So let's just have a look at it again. We said that the mean of the sampling distribution is the same as the population mean. The variance of the sampling distribution is the population variance divided by n. So the variance of the sampling distribution decreases as my sample size increases. And the standard deviation of the sampling distribution is called the standard error. Now, if the population follows a non-normal distribution, then x bar follows an approximate normal distribution, especially as my n, my sample sizes, becomes large. And if x follows a normal distribution, then x bar, the sample mean, also follows the normal distribution for any value of n. In this lecture, we are going to illustrate these um, results for the sampling distribution of the mean. We are going to illustrate that by looking at simulations. So first of all, I'm going to work with a normal population and see how the sampling distribution is influenced by the sample size and then we will look at a non-normal distribution. Okay, so what I have here is I have 2550 repetitions of samples of size 2 from a standard normal distribution. Now the black graph that you see is the density for the standard normal distribution so you can see it has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. So now I took 2550 samples of size 2 from the standard normal distribution and the blue gives us the empirical distribution of these sample means and then we fit it a normal curve over this sampling distribution. Now I want you to see that the mean of the sampling distribution is again zero, the same as the population mean. The shape of the sampling distribution is normal, that is the red curve there, and the variance of the sampling distribution is less than the variance of the population. So the red normal distribution has um, less variation than the black one. So what we will do next is to change the sample size and see how it influences the sampling distribution of the sample mean. So here we can see that the black graph again gives us the standard normal distribution. The red graph gives us the distribution of the sampling distribution. So it's also normal with the same mean as the population, the mean is zero, but we can see that the variance for the sampling distribution is a lot smaller because it's the population variance divided by the sample size, which in this case is 20. So when we increase the sample size, the variance of the sampling distribution will decrease. In this slide, we are going to look at a population that is non-normal and then look at the sampling distribution of the mean. So my population is an exponential one distribution and that's given by the black density function on this graph. And then we took a thousand samples, repetitions of size two, and the sampling distribution is given in blue. And then we fitted a normal curve over the sampling distribution. And you can see that the normal curve doesn't fit the sampling distribution very well. And that's because the population follows a non-normal distribution. However, if we increase the sample size, then the sampling distribution will become more and more normal. So that is what we're going to do next. I'm going to increase the sample size. Okay, so here you can see that my sampling distribution 
becomes more and more bell shaped um, as you can see with the red curve fitted over the sampling distribution so the sampling distribution of the mean becomes more and more normal as my sample sizes increase even though the original population follows a non-normal distribution.